Hi everyone. Um, I wanted to show you this cute little envelope card that I ran across. I was looking around on Pinterest and got found a link to this blog called Annie's Paper Fun. And she had made these cute little cards. Hers were decorated different. Hers were shabby chic. But I thought they'd be kind of fun. So I was kind of playing around and wanted to tell you, show you what I came up with and give you some ideas on ways you can use this fold. Um, this is kind of like a double fold. It's got the same thing on both sides, but you can put a pocket or you could put a journaling tag or a photo mat in there. Um, this one is made with the Suprema papers. I thought it was just really cute. Um, the next one I made out of the Susan Wingett Nature Collection. When I'm making this, it just occurred to me, you know how we all get these die cuts and we have a million of them left over when we buy them for a paper collection? Well, this is a good way to use those up because you could put one on each side. This one, I put it right here. This is Nestability and I stamped Happy Mother's Day and just put a little bow there and cut a photo mat out and put, my, put a little tab and then another little die cut. And then on this side, I used um, a butterfly, just added a swirl, and I cut this um, out of the Tim Holtz doily. And you could put, the thing about this is, you could use it for a lot of different things. Um, pictures, a card. I had all these, she made these 12 by 12, but I had all these 6 by 9 envelopes, and I wanted to make something that would go into an envelope. So I cut down one of these cards and I cut this down from tw a 12 by 12 to an 11 by 11 so that they would fit in in this card and then I just cut the envelope down. So um, This one I thought was kind of cute. I used the um, Spring Blossom collection and I used these die cuts and I thought it would be really cute to put seed packets in here to give to somebody for just a spring card or Mother's Day or something. Then you could put seeds in this. Then you could take a picture and of the flowers from the seeds and you could put this in your junk journal or um, a mini or something and with a picture and the seed packet. So I thought that was would be really cute. Um, you could also put, you could make these um, for Christmas and put hot chocolate packets in. You could make them for a kid's birthday party as a favor and put in pop rocks and fun dip, those little fun dip things. You could make one for a wedding, put in a gift certificate. There's a lot of fun things you could do with it. On this one, um, I also had Mother's Day in mind and I just did the photo mat out of um, cardstock and then I used my Martha Stewart punch and then I just did some stamping and and I put one of these fabric flowers. This paper's um, from many years ago, Bohemian Collection from my mind's eye. And then on this side I decided it might be kind of fun to make a little mini book so I um, cut up some papers from the collection and I thought it might be cute um, for this to go to a grandmother maybe and have your children write something in here or put a picture of your child and have them write a little special note to their grandmother or their mother. And what I did was I just cut two pieces the same and I punched holes in here and threaded some seam binding through and just stuck on a flower. So it just made kind of a little mini book for pictures or letters or whatever. So that was that one. And then um, I used an 8x8 eight eight and cut it down to see how that would, or uh, folded it up to see how that would look for maybe to put on a mini album page. I didn't decorate this one, it's just the plain fold, but this one I did um, out of a 6x6. Six six. And I think that would be really cute to stick on a mini album page and you would kind of have a double um, pocket tag or a double pocket page to put journaling tags in. 
and I just stuck some seam binding and a flower on that. This would also be cute um, to put tea bags in. So there's a lot of fun things that you can do with these little things. You just need to remember, the smaller you make these, the thinner you need your paper because you can't get a nice fold with this really thick paper once you get down um, making them smaller. So there's the 6x6, the 8x8, and the 11x11. Well, I took it a step further. I thought maybe it would make a cute mini album. So I took this... Um, Victoria Garden Collection from Echo Park that I got at the Scrapbook Expo and I just started folding. This took me a couple hours to make. This collection had a lot of the die cuts and stickers and lettering and journaling cards and so I just decided to use the collection. I wasn't crazy about it but I think that it turned out really cute. I decided not to distress it because I wanted a real crisp, clean look. And so this was from the collection. And the only thing that I have used on this album that does not go in the collection were these little flowers. And it just needed something, a little pop of something. So I'll just go through this and you can kind of see what I've done. I've just basically folded it. And then... Um, put a die cut or a sticker there. There's a journaling spot and a photo mat in each pocket. So I bound it with my cinch. It was very easy. This is the easiest I've ever um, been able to do my cinch. It I always have problems with my cinch. I can't ever seem to do it right. I think it's the operator's fault, not the cinch's fault. But this time it just cut and came all together really easy. So I made this in probably two or two and a half hours. So kind of something different. It was kind of fun. So, And then um, that's just the back, pretty plain. So in my next video, I'm going to show you how to make this fold and how I cut down my envelope. So stay tuned. Thanks so much for watching.